Revision exercises, vibration and waves. Question 1. Sonar uses reflected sound waves to measure underwater depth. If a sonar has a frequency of 288 Hz and the speed of sound in water is 145 meters per second, calculate the wavelength of the sound wave emitted by the sonar. So given that F equal to 188 Hz and the speed of the wave in water is 145 meters per second, we can apply the formula V water equal lambda in water times F. So lambda in the water is equal to speed in the water over F which is equal to 145 meters per second over 288 hertz equals 0 0.503 meter. Here we have all the parameters given in SI units, so the obtained result will be in the SI unit. Question 2. The, slow, the lowest pitch that the average human can hear has a frequency of 20 hertz. If sound with this frequency travels through air with a speed of 331 meter per second, calculate its wavelength as it propagates through air. So the audible range of frequencies for a human ear is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz and we are given the frequency and the speed of the sound in water. So what can we do in order to find the wavelength? Again, apply the same formula. The speed of sound in air is equal lambda or wavelength of the sound in air times its frequency. Lambda equals speed over frequency. We have them in the SI unit. So 331 meter per second over 20 hertz is equivalent to 16.55 meters. Determine the period of a metronome that vibrates at the frequency of 4 hertz. So we are given the frequency of a vibratory object and we are asked to calculate its period. So the direct relation between period and F is T equal 1 over F. 1 over 4 hertz is equal to 0 0.25 second. So this is choice A. The pendulum is adjusted so that its frequency changes from 10 Hz to 20 Hz. Its period will change from n seconds to. We have four options. n over 4 seconds, n over 2 seconds, 2 n seconds, and 4 n seconds. We know from the formula T and T equals 1 over F and F equals 1 over T that they are inversely proportional. This means that as uh, F increases, T decreases. So here we have that the frequency increases from 10 Hz to 20 Hz. That's why we expect the period to decrease. So we can eliminate uh, options C and D because 2N and 4N means the period increased. But this doesn't agree with the relation between F and T. So now we are left with N over 4 seconds and N over 2 seconds. Making use of the given, the initial frequency is 10 Hz, the initial period is n. The final frequency or the new frequency is 20 Hz, what is the period? So in general, T is equal to 1 over F. Now for the special case for the initial state, T1 equals 1 over F1. Doing a cross multiplication means that 1 is equal to T1 times F1. Doing the substitution, F1 10, T1 n, so we get that 1 is equal to 10 n. Now again in general T equals 1 over F. Applying it for the second case in which the frequency increased, we can say that T2 equals 1 over F2. So we are looking for T2 now. All we have to do is substitute for 1 and F2. 1 was proved to be equal to 10N. So we substitute it. So here it was proved that 1 equals 10N. So we substitute 1 by 10N. And F2 is given to be 20, so now finally we get N over 2. So the right answer is B. Question 5. When a mechanical wave's amplitude is reduced by half, the energy the wave carries in a given time interval is doubled, decreased to one half, increased by a factor of 1.4, decreased to one fourth. The amplitude of a wave is related to the energy which it transports. So for sure, as the energy of the wave increases, its amplitude increases. That's why in the case of reduction of the amplitude into half, this means that the energy decreases to half too.